Arthur's only option was to vent his anger on two of Ferris's closest friends. Arthur wanted something done. And I know the people had done it. And the people had done it were good friends of mine, because I knew how much it was for and never and There was a 30,000 pounds he put in their heads. Bobby Glover and Joe Hanlon. Aye, uh, and that other boy still alive. Paul Ferris. Mm. That was the three that was to be done. And what did happen there was there was a certain party. It was at a concert, we were at a concert in Berlin, and he was dressed as a woman. And he escaped out of Berlin amongst the people. And Bobby Glover name took that block in and looked after him. And that block betrayed them. Because it was his uncle that shot them. And he spoke to his uncle. His uncle spoke to him and order, offered them a bit of pie to bring them up and say it was a drug deal. And he talked to two into coming. And this boy took them out the road and shot the two of them. And I'll tell you a funny thing about that. That bloke piled out with me for quite a while. He's dead now. And he told me about that day. He says, Walter, he says, we're the two of them was the motor. He says, and this was his nephew that set them up. He says, and when I shot the two of them, he says, I just stepped to the motor, he says, and I shot them. He says, when I shot the first one, he says, I went, oh, wait a minute, he says, and I shot him. He says, and a bullet flew by my head. He says, and I turned round, he says, and my nephew went, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it, it was a mistake. He said, I think he was going to do me. I said, I was talking to him that day. I said, Billy, you're not sure. He said, so by this time, the nephew's by the neck. He said, I'm going to do it when he comes out. I know enough about what happened, but I don't know everything. Uh, other people who have been fortunate enough to talk to other people, bearing in mind it's still alive, murder inquiry as well. Uh, I've got a fair idea about what had happened and what had took place. And my understanding is that there are still members of Joe Hanlon's family who are the Irish based. Uh, they're seeking uh, clarification on the whereabouts of uh, two individuals that they believe strongly enough that were responsible. One's Billy Lobin, William Lobin, for making the phone call. And another one will be remained the unnamed. Uh, but it was done in such a way that it was though Thompson organised that. I don't believe.